Hi, Pro Gary. How's it going? How's it going? Is the audio and video good or no? I'm just uh, showing some uh, some stuff I use for wiring the motors. Okay. This is uh this is the spark plug wire I use. There's about a thousand feet on here. For 12 bucks off eBay. That's 30 gauge wire wrapping. And uh, look at how many different colors are on there. Quite a few. That's one thing I use. Saves you sell, sell some money. These are uh, battery cables, they're from the phone lines. Uh, my area is getting really small around here. So I've got two tables there. One is basically my working in station. This, I don't know if you can read that. You get black and white, that's from Michaels. Uh, five pieces, there's quite a bit there. I use that for the rat hose. Rat hose. And what I do is I put solder in the end, in the one end, and the other end, and uh, connect it that way. Hi Frank, how's it going? And uh, this is Brave Fish Line I use. I use that for the fuel lines. You know, like uh, the Brave of the fuel lines. And all you do is paint it aluminum or silver. And then I just uh, use uh, uh, current beads from uh, Michaels. Uh, point zero zero or point zero one and that that is like five years old and old to me for the rest of my life and my son's life yeah somebody was asking me uh, to do an engine wiring job I will do a tutorial on it. Oh, smart ass. Okay, Jeff. Radiator hose then. <laughs> and this is what I use for my uh, electrical wiring for my alternator and whatnot. And what this is is called alter wire, and you use this. Uh, you get this for fly fishing, so any fishing store would sell this, and and you could get black. Uh, I'm just showing you the red, but you could get black, gold, silver.
And I got this this hooking up uh, train sets. It's got wire inside. I use this for my spark plug boots. What I do is I put it on a pen, like a straight pen, so it kind of widens this up. What I do is pull it off, lay it down. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show it close to the camera when I cut it. What I do is I cut a little V in it. Oh, I have to put my thing on. I can't see what is crap. Sorry guys. Okay, cut a V in the middle. I should. And what you do is you put it on the wire. I can fucking see it. No, oh, I can't find it now. Anyways, you put it on the wire like this. Put it on the wire like this. But what you do is you slide it over. You cut the V in that vinyl tubing I showed you. And what you do is you just put a little dab of glue in the V. And then you just bend it like that. And that gives you the 90 degree angle for your spark glue boots. Alright, Keith. I like the clear resistors. And, yeah. I use them to, uh, John. Oh, fuck off. That better? Fred? Any questions, guys, about what I showed you? Yeah, right, Jeff. Yeah, I've been uh, building since the dinosaurs, yeah. Well, I started when I was five. I'm 63 now, and I haven't stopped, so. So, any questions, guys? Seat belts were. I don't see any seat belts. I 
I didn't show any seat belts. I make my own seat belts and buckles. So any questions guys about what I showed you? Like where you get the stuff. Most of it's Walmart. Oh yeah. I use lacquer thinner like a lot of people use plastic weld. A lot of people use plastic weld and I use a uh, lacquer thinner. It does the same thing. And that kicker, I use it, STP uh, gas treatment. It's the same as the kicker that you use for the super glue. So any questions guys? Yeah, or MEK, Fred. I use a uh, start Frank. This is printer plate. You can get them at the print shop. Uh, they throw pieces out and you probably can get it for nothing. It's got a dull side on one side and a uh, shiny on the other side. You can use pop can, pop cans too. I, I've, I've done that. Yeah, I don't have, I don't think I have. Or do I? This stuff here, John. Yeah, uh, what I just showed you, John, that's what I use. And it's only like less than, a, and less than two bucks. And that thing will last you quite a while. But I, I've been using lacquer thinner or, uh, MEK for, 
for quite a while now. I don't use plastic welder or any anything of that nature. Because I find that a lot cheaper and it'll last longer. So but everybody their own, you know. And I'm just trying to give you guys helpful help helpful hints. You know, either you uh, either works for you or it doesn't. You know, and it doesn't work for everybody. My son started building again. Uh, yeah. This is the kit I'm working on now. Uh. That's the kit I'm working on now. Piece of junk. That's all I gotta say. Piece of junk. Oh, cool, Frank. My favorite super glue is this. But this is okay for windows and whatnot. But it doesn't have the strength as the purple one. Like I get the purple one. And I use this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. That's right, Frank. I, I use uh, the Pages uh, Super Glue, too. I don't use the Gorilla one. I don't like that one. Or uh, the one with the alligator on, on the label. I don't like that one, either. No, uh, the instructions, uh, John, even the parts, uh, they don't match the picture. So, uh, you know, if you're a beginner, that's not a kit to start. That's for sure. It's a piece of crap. I'm putting the red, the little red wagon on the back of it, though. But I'm, I'm going to do my own twist of the little red wagon behind it. Yeah, that's right, Fred. Hi, Dozer. How's it going? And I like to use uh, super glue and baking soda the odd time too for filling up gaps. I don't like to do it too often, but. Uh, Lemberg. John. Lemberg. Yeah, Lindbergh. Same as a little red wagon. It's got no numbers on the trees. Uh, no num uh, it's got numbers on the instructions, but no numbers on the trees at all. Yeah, well, it was, uh, minus 30 here, uh, Larry, for the last couple of days. I should maybe put a, like a white or a gray on, uh, on top of here. 
that way you guys will be able to see better. Yeah. Well, I've got the got the motor done so far. And I'm only gonna use one trailer and I'm gonna extend the back like it's gonna be uh like uh one of those uh tow trucks that lifts the back part. Like if you look at this motor, it's like the block itself is freaking like it's no detail whatsoever on it. So was this, uh, these tips and tricks, were they helpful guys or not? If not, then that's okay. Were they helpful at all? These tips and tricks? I just like to know because, you know, like, My audio and video still good or no? Is it lag lagging or oh, what's going on? I don't know because it looks fine on my end. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's, it sucks, uh, John. But you're not going to see it anyways, really. So I'm not worried about it. <coughs> So John, you check out my Model T on my channel, or no, not yet. So Fred, is the lighting to your satisfaction now or what? Oh, that's good. Like I might even do a, a tutorial on how I wired a whole motor, make my own distributors and whatnot. I might, I might do a tutorial on that. I haven't decided yet. But I'm going to work on that uh, tutorial for you, uh, John. Uh, opening doors and trunks and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that Model T was uh, a lot of kit bashing, I tell you. I 
I always find you know, I always have a hard time when it comes to putting decals on it. I never can choose what to put on it, so that's my hardest part. I guess I was a little late. Supposed to start at eight o'clock, but then it started right at eight o'clock, so Yeah, I scratch built a fire signature and a bracket for it too, John, on that model. And I used the uh, printer plate like I just showed you. That's what I used. Uh, uh, yeah, in the past I have, uh, John. Yeah, you're talking about the uh, the ones that took over uh, some of the Johan kits. Hi, Big Charlie. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, I just found out I lost two more cousins because of this freaking stupid virus. Worst part is you can't go to the funeral home either. So you could buy us right now, so. Not too bad, Big Charlie. Kind of sucks I can't go to the funeral home or anything. Say my goodbyes to my cousins. But it is what it is. So much you can do about it. Yeah, I know which ones you're talking about, John. Yeah, they're, uh, Tetris, <laughs> say the least. Thanks, Big Charlie. I appreciate it. Oh, cool, John. Can't wait to see it. That'd be cool. Yeah, you just have to, you know, every folk art paint is different. Uh, I like the Appleberry line of folk art paint, personally. And, uh, and Americana, is, that's not bad either. That's 71 CUDA, is that a uh, Ravel or Monogram kit? Or is that an MPC kit, John?
Yeah, I got a lot of Mopars and uh, Chevys, uh, John. That's a lot. That's mostly what I built. I built the odd Ford, but not very often. I'm not knocking Ford, but you know. Yeah, I can't get any more of this this stuff anymore here in Canada. Which really sucks. Okay, I know the one you're talking about then. Is that the old, is that the, like the Socks of Martin Cuda that was out by Johan? John? Is that the same one? Because I know, I know which one you're talking about. They, they did the, the Comet too. Not the Maverick, but the Comet. Also. Around, around the same time the Cuda came out from the testers. So Frank, you finished uh, painting that uh, the body. Yeah, that's why I, I thought, John. I'm not a big uh, Johan fan, to be honest with you. I dropped the body a while ago, and the thing just shattered. Because of the plastic that they use. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've got the uh, AMX. And I've got the, the Comet. Also. From uh, testers. I think every kid needs uh, working. Especially nowadays. Oh, cool. I can't wait to see it, Frank. Let's see how, how it turned out. Boy, these days are long sometimes. The only time that time goes pretty fast is when my son comes here. We should try. We should actually try to have a hangout with the, with the people that are in this room. I think that'd be cool. Oh, that's good, Frank. I'm glad. I'm glad it worked out for you. Really glad. It was worth uh, me doing those how-to videos then. For sure. Oh, I, I, is that the, the orange one, John? Or yellow? I think. 
orange or yellow. Or did it come in white? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Something similar to that, uh, Frank. Does that brush here? This one here, Frank. Is that the one? I don't know. I don't know, uh, Big Charlie. I have no idea. The the one I just showed uh, you, uh, John, I think that's the one. Oh, okay. And this is the one. The only problem is with this one. Yeah, you can't uh, you can't buy parts for it. I don't know if the Badger parts will fit it because it looks like uh, uh, it looks like a Badger uh, airbrush. Oh no, cheaper. Okay, so it's not the same one then. Well, this one works fine. You know, see. But we have Canadian Tire here, uh, Frank, and uh, it seems like they pretty well have the same airbrushes as Harbor Freight has. So <coughs> I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Uh, aware of that. Yeah, some people, you know, they have good luck with those uh, master airbrushes. Uh, I had a few, and I had no luck with them, so that's the right reason why, I, you know, I went a little bit overboard with my airbrushes. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine is a double action. But uh, it's pretty close to the same idea. It's just that I have more control over the air and the paint. So. Yeah, Big Charlie, I don't think uh, Fred is still here. I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. No, he's not here. No, Big Charlie, he's, he's not. He's not here. Is there an airbrush that sprays in a fan powder? Yeah, uh, the Big Charlie, the the Grex. I have the Grex also, but. I haven't used it yet. Still in the vault, in the box, in the bag, with a receipt. So, hi, Mark. How's it going?
No, Charlie, uh, Fred is not here. Either is Jeff. I, I just checked. Yeah, the tell, yeah, that's right. Telon has a fan cap too. Uh, some of the, the Wadas have it too, uh, uh, Big Charlie and John. Pretty sure they do. Huh. You think? <laughs> You think you're here, Mark? <laughs> so I hope I hope this uh, the stuff I showed you was helpful. You know, we all like to save money. That's for sure. No problem, uh, Big Charlie. I I just checked and see who's in the room and who isn't. So, oh yeah, cool. I always wanted to build an Indy car. I don't know why. Like the John Player Special. I always wanted to build that one. I had it in my hands when I was younger, but I never ever bought it. The John Player Special with the double wheels on the front, four wheels on the front, and two in the back. I think oh, that's pretty cool. Black with silver uh, uh, writing on it. Yeah, if you use a spray minigun, they, they usually have a fan cap on them. So John, did you mail out that uh, that tube for my glass bottles for the airbrushes yet, or no? Yeah, I think that'd be cool, you know, John. Uh, I always like to build an indie car or something that in nature, something different. Sure, if you have them, uh, John, that'd be great. If you have the Pro Street tires, that, that would be a bonus. I'd love to get a couple Maverick kits. But, I don't know. I can't afford it. They're expensive. They're pricey. Sure, John, that'd be great. Greatly appreciate it. I'll send you a, a shop card, John. I don't think you have one of my shop cards yet. 
I put that Patreon on on my channel, but I it's not doing anything at the moment, so I don't know. I don't think I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing to do. I'll see. If it does, if nothing happens, then I, I'm just gonna take it off. That's all. The Johan, the Johan kits, uh, the 70, Maverick, like the Sandy Elliott pools, or the Comet, pools car, Sandy, uh, Sandy Elliott, or uh, Barry Pools uh, Comet. I don't think so, uh, Big Charlie. Uh, here's my email. I'll put it in the description. There you go, Big Charlie. Here's my email. Cause I still got lots of shop cards. I got probably about 300. So. There's a lot of guys I haven't got shop cards yet from. And I've, I've got quite a few so far, so. Yeah, Pro Carry Trucker was in here too, but he, he wants a left. I'm not sure. No, I don't have your shop card, uh, Charlie. Yeah, guys, hit, hit that like button so I I will know that you appreciate that I, I showed you some of these tips and tricks. Yeah, it helps me to, uh, you know, make some more videos. Because I, I got nothing else to do. I, I can do videos all day, you know, doesn't matter to me. So did you uh, write that down, Charlie? Okay, not a problem, uh, Frank. If you email me your address, I will send you the shop card sometime this week, as long as we don't have too much snow. Right now we got two feet of snow right now, so. I just sold a whole bunch of kits. I sold over 200 kits. And, it's, and I, it looks like I still have too much. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, uh, you want to see anything else on my channel, let me know. Uh, just email me. My email is right there. Uh, you know, I have no problem there, you know, because I got to write all this down and then schedule it, you know, the different how-tos to uh, post it, so. Yeah, I got five, five likes, uh, John, uh, which is good.
There's seven people watching. <coughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. A lot of times if I watch somebody on live, I, uh, I use my phone to do it, but a lot of things you can't do. How many, how many, what, how many what do I have, John? I, I don't understand the question. How many models I have that are not built? Is that what you're asking? I don't know. Fifteen hundred, John. The last time I counted, I got fifteen hundred kits. I got all my old car magazines too. Still, I got them in the filing filing cabinets. Yeah, it's tight. I I've got two tables in my room, in my bedroom, because there's only one bedroom. And I got a wall unit in my bedroom. Got my bed, and I got all these plastic bins here. Yeah, 1,500, John. I got 40, probably about 40 bins of parts. <laughs> okay, uh, Charlie, no problem. I will uh, get that card out to you, uh, shop card out to you as soon as possible. Model kits. I live alone, John, so I've got I've got kits in every cupboard that you can imagine. <laughs> Even in the kitchen, not in the bathroom, but in the kitchen, all the shit. Because when you're single, you know you don't have all that uh, extra appliances and whatnot, which I don't. <laughs> Anyways. I've got, John, and to be honest with you, I got lots of kits from when I was a kid, a kid that my dad saved, which I didn't even know. And then just before he passed away, he told me to come to his place. And sure enough, he had lots of my old kits still in a room. Yeah, it's way too much, Frank. <laughs> but... A lot of them have sent sentimental value. Some of them. I got some kits uh, dated back from the sixties, from when I uh, from when I first started, and I was only five five years old. <sighs> yeah, it, it is totally. Insane, Frank. Insane, in other words. <laughs> well, you only live once, right? Might as well enjoy it to the fullest. Yeah, you guys got to realize I've been building for 50 plus years. So... A lot of this stuff is like 50 years old. Yeah. I, I was surprised too, John. Uh, there had to be like 300 kits from the 60s. And all the annuals. So, you can imagine how, what kits they are. <laughs> Like all the old uh, AMT annuals, uh, the, uh, 
the drag series that came out in the 60s. Yeah, well, I don't have to. I don't have to answer to nobody, uh, Red. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Like I even got the the Arnold uh, James Bond car with the injection seat and everything. It's built. Don't uh, don't get me wrong. It's built, but of course, you know, I was only a kid. I didn't paint nothing. So yeah, the bread they're they're way better detailed, Frank. Especially the body. What uh, when it comes to the to the body, the the badges and everything is a lot crisper. I will, I will, uh, I will show one of the old kits I got one day. Okay, promise. I'll show it on here, on live. Like that uh, stone woods and cook. A uh, Corvette funny car I made, I, I built. That was, uh, from 68. Like, I mean, the real McCoy, 68. Yeah. Well, when you think about it, John, like, the toys we had when we were growing up, uh, what else? The comic books. Things like that. No, I don't, uh, Charlie. I don't, I don't, uh, I might. I, I'll have to go through the storage to see. Why well, is that something you're looking for? Is that the one that was a police, uh, Plymouth wagon? Was that the one? Now I got a couple here, like, like I got a couple old ones here, but majority of my ones from when I was a child is in storage, so, yeah, I, I, that'd be a good idea, but, I don't know, Thursdays is a bad day for me, I don't know, I'll, I'll see, maybe I could do it on Thursday, we'll see. One of uh, Pro Carry uh, Trucker bought, bought an airbrush or not? Evil Knievel stunt bike. Uh, some guy on uh, YouTube built one a while ago. I forget his name. But, anyways. Like, I got, like, uh, 26, yeah, roughly 26 Vega model kits, not built. Yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, what do you guys think about a hangout? Think that it was be something you guys want to get into or no? <clears throat> Had a hangout on the weekend sometime or Friday, whatever is a good day for you guys.
Oh, nine people watching. How many people are in the room? Huh. Oh, one person left. Oh, maybe I just hold on. I'll show you why I'm old kid. Just hold on. There you guys go. There you go. How about that? That's old. See? Yeah, I just gotta figure out, Red, uh, what what program to use. I think Zoom would probably be the best thing, the best one to use. I'm not sure. So, what do you think about that, John? Is that old enough for you? So if you guys got any ideas, you know, what you'd like to see on this channel, let me know. Now before before the night is over. Okay. That sounds good, uh, Big Charlie. Like I said, you know, like I got 1,500 kids. Like, I've got a lot of Johan stuff too. I even got, uh, oh God, the hearse with the two motors in it. I even got that kit. Again, I missed it. Oh, you, here. There we go. Okay, at that time, John. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change my cameras a little bit because it seems like the one is kind of too big. So I gotta change that. So John, did you get it that time? Or you just want me to send it to you or something? Yeah, that's the uh, that's the one I did the Stone Woods and Cook uh, Funny Car on my channel, uh, John, a while ago. I have somebody that does custom decals for me, uh, anything I want, and he, he doesn't charge a very much much of a price either. So.
Uh, I use better metal foil, uh, Frank. I don't like the uh, the monotone. Uh, after a while, it's, it's, it yellows or it rubs off. Okay, <laughs> no problem. You're forgiven, John. <laughs> Oh, there's 10 people. Not bad. Yeah, if you guys can think of anything you want to see or or how to, let me know because uh, like you never know until you ask, right? There might be, you know, there are a lot of things I don't know. I, I'll admit it. Like I'm not. I I I learn it every day, more and more. You know. Yeah, this is about the size of the solder I use for my headers. You're wondering why I'm why I'm playing with it. Yeah, I, 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 per, I, I like the foil, uh, John, but a lot, I had a, quite a few times that I bought a, a brand new sheet and frickin' crackle all through it. It really pissed me off. And you gotta change the blade quite often. I found that out, especially if you do some of these older uh, cars. Like I have the monoto, but I, I I just I just remove it out of the out of the pan or whatever you call it and put my through my airbrush. So that's the only difference I do because those tips they clog up pretty easy. So I'm gonna be doing casting pretty soon. I, I bought this stuff. It's called blue blue stuff or whatever. Put it in the microwave for so many minutes, and then it becomes very soft. So you can mold it however way you want. And then once it's, it's dry, then it's dry. But you can reuse it. That's what I like about it. I haven't tried it yet, but I plan to. Three people. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. RB, John, I I would love to get some aftermarket stuff, but with me being in Canada and the exchange on our dollar and the shipping. Uh, it's crazy. I can't afford it. Oh yeah, I I clear coat over the uh, foil, uh, Frank. That way it does, and you'll know for sure it'll never come off again. I hear you, John. Like I, I love the aftermarket stuff too, but like I said, when you're on the fixed income like me, you can't afford that, all that aftermarket stuff. And you could spend a lot of money on that aftermarket stuff. That's why I scratch build a lot of stuff. A lot of people don't like scratch building because it's time consuming. Which it is, but, you know. I, I enjoy it. And, but a lot of people ask me, you know, what are the measurements? Uh, you're asking the wrong person because I, I eyeball everything. 
pretty well when I uh, scratch build. So, so it's hard hard for me to uh, say that. Oh, I clear coat over, over my uh, bare metal foil. I put 2K clear over it. No problem. I do it just to protect it, that's all. Just don't put uh, future or pledge over it because it doesn't do anything. Really. Oh, is there any other questions, guys, before I shut down the stream? Because it's been over an hour now, so. Well, yeah, almost an hour. Just like a lot of people prime, you know, uh, use primer on, on all their parts. I don't. Only well, time I use primer if the body is like a red and I want to paint it white. That's the only time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, uh, John. But the thing is, like, okay, you spend a hundred bucks with my exchange, it's like a hundred fifty bucks. So you know, like, it's fifty bucks more than what you have to pay. You know, it's, it's outrageous. Well, the, the six, do you have the 63 Chevy 2 wagon, uh, Big Charlie yet? Because it just came out. You got that one? The Chevy Noble wagon? I uh, I built a model a while ago, John. Uh, it's called the Revel Kit. I don't know if you follow drag racing or whatever. Oh, it was a Mustang with a flip front end, and it took me a year and a half to build that one. But I got paid very well for it. Uh, it was for a client. So. It took me a year and a half. So. No, I, I built pretty fast. <laughs> Ten years here. <laughs> it's just sort of like these uh, 24 hour or 48 hours. I tell the guys, there's no way. Take me that long to freaking open the box. <laughs> and that's that one uh, that I was talking to you about, John, the Ravel kit. Uh, I never did a video on it either. I think I built it before. I had my YouTube channel, to be honest with you. So, anyways, guys, I'm I'm, I'm going to close off the stream. If there's no other questions, so because it's 9:30 here now, so and I'm not like Cliff. You know, I, there's no way I can run for four or five hours. Like he does, no foot away. So you guys gotta let me know. You know, if you want to see something on this channel, you gotta let me know because I don't know. You know what do you like to learn or whatever? I have no idea. My son, he. You know, he, he thinks he's going to put 50 years all in one one day or something. And it's not going to happen.
Well, guys, I am going to uh, close this uh, Are you talking to me, John? Well, guys, I'm going to shut it down, and I'll talk to you all later, and thanks for showing up. I really appreciate it. Without you guys, I wouldn't 